Hi, Nick from Patchworks here, and today I want to talk about two new modules from 4MS. Uh, one is the Envelope VCA and the Dual Envelope VCA. Um, these are slated to be released on September 15th, and this one goes for $159, and this one goes for $225. At first blush, you know, we look at these, and, you know, honestly, when I wanted to do this video, I was like, you know, another Envelope VCA combo, but I had so much fun playing around with essentially three envelopes with VCAs, and I'm gonna kind of just show you the utility here, how nice these actually work in practice, because again, there's there's a lot of these in, on the market. I did a video on the carve, on the boundary, and I was like, how is this gonna differentiate? But there's quite a bit here to explore. So um, first off, when we look at the OM VCA versus a dual OM VCA, they are mostly identical. Uh, the dual on VCA is twice the size of the on VCA, uh, but then you get a few more controls. Um, in classic 4MS fashion, we have an OR here, which can take both of those envelopes and uh, kind of get the maximum out of either of them. And it also has a individual sort of patch for the uh, VCA CV, whereas this one is uh, gonna always use the internal envelope. Uh, it also has a cool function here where the cycle sort of toggles. So if I have this one cycling and I send a high gate there, they will actually flip and I'll explore that a little bit too. But when you look at it again, there's not really so much to uh, explore except that's the beauty of it. It's very well thought out. Um, some quick things too. We have switches for the rise and fall. I haven't seen that too much and it's nice because I usually have my rise very, very snappy and my fall tends to be uh, sustained in a really long way. So at, when we set it to slow, oop, my little tiger fell off. And when I set it to slow and open all the way up, it can be uh, the length of that stage could be 20 minutes. So that's really great for slow ambient evolving envelopes, you know. But in this example, I'm mostly gonna be using sort of uh, envelopes for processing audio. So in the setup here, I wanted to pair this with the Beehive. The Beehive is great, you know, really uh, great oscillator based on plates by mutual instruments. And it actually already does have a level in, so it's you could just patch an envelope in there, but one of the issues I have found that uh, kind of, I wouldn't say plagues this, but there's a VCFA and a VCA mode on here, and you have to do a button combo to go between them, so the level doesn't act like you think it does all the time. So um, I'll get a basic patch set up here. I'm just gonna run the Beehive into my OMV, OMV, uh, VCA, that into the 860 filter, and this into my um, multi-effects up here. And then we'll use the ASQ1, taking the CV going into the Beehive. And then we take the gate and I'll show you two patches here. Um, first, we just go into trigger. So triggers, it doesn't matter how long it sustains. Um, it's just gonna play essentially the length of the stage each time, so. And so let's get our tu this tuned up a little bit. Sounds cool, but a little in harmonic. And our filter is closed, so let's open that all up. And uh, let me turn that down. So it works exactly how we expect. No sustain, though. If we want sustain, we can go into follow. Follow is the envelope follower, but it also allows us to, when we have a high gate, it just it follows it. It waits until it goes away, and then it slowly goes back down to zero. I like that a lot. One of the other features too, uh, and a benefit of just using this as a straight oscillator versus the uh, trigger and the internal envelope is one, we get to play with our envelope stage really, really quickly. And then two, uh, these attenuverters actually have the envelope normal to them. So the sound's gonna be very, very pure. Um, I know sometimes it, uh, plats, plates can sound a little silly because of that. Um, it's good for doing sort of like sweeping FM kicks, but you know, we don't really want that right now. So I'm gonna go back into trigger and then the cool thing about this is even though we're using the internal envelope with the VCA. And so in this model of a package, that's great. But if I wanted to use that uh, envelope also for my filter, I can take that. I have an envelope out right there. So I'll take my envelope out, go into the mod in and start closing my filter. So yeah, again, very simple patch, but with these three modules, you essentially have a complete synth voice. And again, it's very, very well laid out. We're removing the menus from the Beehive and 
you know, it's easy to jam with this thing. So that's like sort of like the most basic patch, but I wanted to show some some more sort of complex patches, sort of fun things you could do if you have essentially three of these units in your rack. And in this case, it's the OM VCA and it's a dual OM VCA. Um, one thing that I do, I like to do is actually, I don't really like to use a sequencer sometimes. We'll use a sequencer to change the pitch, but um, the way that I sequence stuff is sometimes I'll take a channel, so I'll just loop this channel over here, and I will use, I like these signals, the end of fall. Essentially that creates a clock for me. So if I go in here, I take my end of fall and start triggering, we're gonna get. And you can see when I play around with these, these knobs that changes my clock speed. So that's kind of cool. And I can also change the notes over here. So we're not using the sequencer, we're just using it for pitch data. Now, I have these time CVs. So I'm gonna unpatch this for a second while I talk. Um, so this time CV allows us to change the rate of uh, the rise and the fall independently, or rather it shares a CV source, but we can independently um, attenuate that signal. So what I'm gonna do is take this time CV, cycle that other channel, and take the envelope out and start playing with that. So we should get like sort of a sequence that sounds kind of cool. So let's see here this. So that's really cool because again, we created this rhythmic pattern and it's not based on the gates as much as it's based on the sustaining of the uh, the envelope itself. And we're just using envelopes to create that rhythmic pattern. So that's really cool. One other thing I wanted to show is is uh, using this envelope follower. So in in Platts here, we actually have uh, the, the sort of robot speak mode. And one way I like to use this is that I'm gonna I'm gonna patch this straight into my filter, and um, let's see here. And so in this mode, um, when the harm knob is past twelve, we get long sentences, and we can scan through the sentences with morph. So. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So in that in that patch, we actually are counting. Um, and I want to have it kind of read that out to me. So the way I'll do that is I'm gonna take my morph, I'm gonna crank that most of the way up. Um, I'm gonna take my fall out of this channel, turn it all the way down, because what I want is a just a ramp wave up to scan that passage. Keep my rise around there. We're, we're gonna have to experiment to see how fast we want it to read. And then I'm going to take the output of that and start cycling. That looks like it's going pretty fast. So if we turn this up, we're... Okay, so now you could see with one of these channels we're, we're pushing the phrase along. But the next thing I want to do is actually modulate the, uh, the filter so when the amplitude's high that it opens up the filter automatically. And that's where we use envelope following. So I'm going to take the output of my beehive, molt it. I'm gonna plug it back into my filter to restore our patch. And then I'm gonna take the other output and run it into follow here. So we're gonna be using this one as an envelope follower. So now, usually when I use an envelope follower, I like to keep the rise low. So that means that it will sort of go to the highest point of the amplitude and then slowly fall down to zero. Um, so I'll take my envelope out. And here's another thing too that I didn't really point out that's really cool is that um, in all of these modes or a lot of these modules, we have attenuverters, but actually on the unit itself, we have a level control. And when the level controls all the way up, it's 10 volts and that's really high. Um, I think maths goes up to 10 volts, but it's really great for driving um, something like the Optimix or sort of really opening up VCAs into the point of distortion or saturation, but we could always dial it back down. And uh, I had another video where I showed how to create a pumping effect. It has an offset. So we, if we actually wanted to create a pumping effect, I could crank the offset all the way up, which opens the VCA up and I could crank the level down. So it 
sort of negatively pulls away the amplitude and creates a pumping effect. Um, not going to do that here, but it's really cool to see that supported by the unit itself. So we got our envelope follower sort of working there, and I'm going to patch it into our mod in. And so we can kind of... And I'm going to slow down our passage here. And let's try another uh, speech bank. And I love that because it's it has a really quick whipping sound that we we could kind of augment by playing around with our our uh, envelope follower. <laughs> And then one other thing that I thought was fun is using this OR here, where we'll actually use both of those um, signals and augment that timbre. And then was that a bit of effects? So that's pretty cool. We've we've taken a few of these um, taken a few of these different sources and um, created a modulation pattern that seems really natural and very specialized to modular. Envelope followers, I think, are sort of underutilized in this patch. I know that we probably could have got something sounding more musical, and that's where sort of dialing in the sound, finding exactly that patches passage we want can really help out. But really quickly, I could do. Um, something really creative like that. And the last thing I want to show is that cycle thing where we're flipping that cycle. So I'm actually going to loop our other envelope here and get that dialed in. So half on, like sort of, you know, half the time it's high, half the time it's low. And when I go into cycle, you'll see that it sort of swaps those two things. So what does that actually sound like? Let's let me plug this back in and we'll see how it kind of changed things up. And then I will patch our attenuator here. Actually, what would be more interesting to me is also to take this and play around with the uh, the rate. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. <laughs> so now in this particular part, you could really hear that envelope following. The, the vocals as they come out are whipping really hard. And this is introducing great changes of the passage that's being played. So I'm pretty happy with this patch. And, you know, that's what modular to me is all about. So I'm very excited. You know, like I said, I didn't think I'd be so excited about envelope generators, but here I am just like, Essentially, envelope generators are the heart of why I love modular. So, of course, I should have known I love this, but both, you know, having the envelope generators and those VCAs to process audio is really great. So, as always, I'm Nick from Patchworks. Thanks for watching and happy patching. <laughs>